Hey there, welcome back to The Surge. We are immediately jumping into armed combat. You know, because there hasn't been enough of that so far. That guy is actually quite the dick. Um, <laughs> my, my first playthrough of the game, uh, the guy jumped out at me uh, from around that corner and just instantly killed me with a jump attack from full health. Um, but that's because I was a lot less experienced than I am now and I didn't have as much maximum health. So he just kind of jumped out and went bop, and then Warren was no more. We're on our way to deactivate the lockdown today so that we can uh, open up the other building, get inside, and uh, hopefully get some answers from Dr. Chavez. And I also guess save her from the cleanup crew, quote unquote, that's been sent to take care of her, quote unquote. But, um, Secondary objective. Answers first. This room sucks. <laughs> this room is... This room is an exercise in order of operations. Because, as you can see, there are two guard robots in this room. There was a drone, which I have taken care of. There is a guy in the back that tries to ambush you. And then there's this dude who jumps straight at you as soon as he sees you. So, um... You, this is kind of, this is another one of those trap rooms that you have to kind of disarm in a proper order. Otherwise, you're going to get gangbanged by a thousand enemies at once. And I mean, who knows? You might be into that. But Warren... Warren seems to be a one-drone man. Oh ho I know the solution is here. It's under my nose. I can smell it. But where? I failed to notice the long-term effects of Resolve. That's on me. If Gutenberg and co. hadn't been pushing so hard to start the process, we needed more time to test. Uh, it's too late to try our spilt milk. I can fix this. Resolve is the solution. I just need to identify the elements that produce the toxicity. And therein is the clincher. Project Resolve, you may recall from previous episodes is the uh, World Saving Initiative by Creo. You know, sending up rockets into the atmosphere to dispel greenhouse gases. But, uh, it seems that somewhere along the way, something went wrong, and it made the planet, uh, made the planet a little bit more toxic than it was before. But now we know. The reason Resolve is so toxic is because it was launched before it was finished. Now that's important. Keep that in mind. Dr. Chavez is, of course, the head researcher on Project Resolve, the reason for the Biolabs' existence. Um, but as you can see, the Biolabs are in disrepair. <laughs> so, obviously, things did not quite go according to plan for the people working here. By the way, quite unfortunate. It's a little bit, it's a little bit upsetting, actually. But no, we do not get these guys as flamethrower. <laughs> it's really disappointing. I wish you could get the flamethrower. I don't know how you would use it as a weapon, but boy, it sure would be a lot of fun. For what it's worth, the fire launched from the flare launcher damages you a lot less than the fire from these guys. So, if, if, if you have no other option, it's worth it to just dive right in and set yourself on fire. <laughs> um, you shouldn't, but you certainly can, because it does a lot less damage. I need help. A Creo team has turned up. I managed to escape to my lab. I'm safe right now, but I don't know for how long. I need it doesn't look like they've been sent just to detain me. Oh, I imagine they're starting to tie up the loose ends. Who knows? Maybe they suspect uh, Dr. Chavez of being the perpetrator of the titular surge. Picked up another Biomaster. So we have now gotten back the weapon that we gave to uh, Irina back in Central Production B. Uh, yeah, there, There is a copy of every spear that you can give her. Uh, every staff weapon, rather, I should say. Uh, every staff weapon you can give her there. Um, there is a... 
there is a second Biomaster here in the Biolabs. Uh, there is a second security guard staff from, you know, the other security guards. But also, we're going to get another one later on. And, um, she, she won't accept the reinforced pipe, so we can't give her that one. Hello. Oh my. Again, the Surge, <laughs> the Surge has kind of stopped messing around with Um... This game's MO pretty much from here till the end is going to be putting two or more enemies in each room. Uh, most of the time not aggroed against you, and then you kind of have to figure out how to best take them out. I think it's kind of cool. This game has a very interesting approach to level design, where, say, um... They, what they could have done is just had enemies, like, always aggro directly at you and have no strategy but there is strategy to it there there is strategy in how you choose to deal with the threat of multiple enemies because you know when you're not locked on to an enemy you can't target their body parts so swinging your weapon through two enemies is kind of kind of counter to how you want to play this game because like obviously you can't get body parts from the second guy if you're not targeting but you're still going to kill him so it's kind of it's really interesting is what i'll say like it's it's so it's so interesting how this game lays out enemies because there's also a there's also quite a bit of you know one by one enemy fighting but they also used the they used the engine right the the design of this game where it's meant mostly for single person combat in um in really interesting ways to design encounters with multiple people. I really like that these these laser vacuum cleaner robots are just kind of like hiding, like they think they're sneaky. I don't know why. I don't I don't know who they think they're fooling. But it's not working on me. I have I have maximum level perception. Uh, minimum level skill at video games. That that was a pretty poor investment on my part. Let's go save Dr. Chavez, shall we? What's up, Doc? Finally. It's you or them, remember. We picked up a new drone module just now. One that allows us to pull enemies to our position. Which ties in nicely to what I was saying about separating enemies in uh, multiple enemy encounters. This drone is really useful for repositioning people who are either out of your reach or are grouped together so that you can't, you know, you can't deal with them real easy. It, it makes this encounter quite a bit easier, actually, which is nice. It's it's really cool. It's really cool the amount of options you have, especially with the drone. Is it safe? my work. That was my life. Fuck you. You hear me? Why am I even doing this? They just don't deserve it. They... Boy, let me tell you, Doc. I know how you feel right about now. About Creo. How's it going? Cheer up. It's just not good enough anymore to have me fired and blacklisted. No. Off with her head. So she can't piss on our parade. Just look at this. Months of work destroyed! This is a nightmare. An utter nightmare! Sorry, I... I'm sorry. I didn't even thank you. Who are you, really? Dr. Chavez. Once, everyone here knew. My team and I were Project Resolve. I helped create it. Ran the labs. But those days are gone. When the problems with Resolve became apparent, I was quickly sidelined. My former colleague was more than eager to put forward his own proposal and take my position. And all the board cared about was that it was cheaper and faster. Nothing else mattered. Hmm. Time to get some answers. 
So you're telling me Resolve is a lie? Oh no. Resolve is still going up. At least for the time being. We'd know if it was something else. But they view it as a relic. And they see me the same way. Because I still believe in it. I know I can make it work. That's why we're here. My team and I share that belief. I heard Resolve is toxic. That this shit has been poisoning us for years. There are no absolutes. Just rose-tinted glasses and shades of grey. Resolve does work. Just not fast enough. It's true. We didn't foresee the side effects to be so... extreme. I could have fixed it. I tried. But Barrett was there waiting. More interested in his own advancement. As soon as I stumbled, he was there to stick the proverbial knife in. So what was your colleague's proposal? I've seen the figures, and believe me, you don't want to know. They seem to have no concept of the catastrophic nature of what they're planning to unleash. Resolve wasn't perfect. But Utopia? It's insanity! He's leading us to the precipice of an extinction-level event! All for the sake of money, time, and ego. Well, that doesn't sound good. You know what's going on here, don't you? My work here is unofficial. I'm no longer part of Creo. The reality is, I don't exist. Whatever happened, it wasn't our doing. I have my theories, but until I have more information, they'll remain my theories. I haven't heard anything from my associates in days. It's anarchy out there. I'm worried that... <sighs> Look, I know. I owe you already, but I need another favor. Okay. Depends on the favor. Okay. This chip holds important data. Data that will save Resolve. And humanity. I need to trust you on this. I wouldn't survive five minutes out there, let alone make it to the executive forum. You're my only chance to do this. Give it to Bonham or Fox. They're both on the board. It's crucial they get it as soon as possible. You got it. Okay, hand it over and it's done. Hurry. We're counting on you. Well, all right then. Thanks, Dr. Chavez. We got our hands on this secret data chip. And hey, it's a good thing we're headed to the executive forum. Because now we can deliver it on the way. You can keep the power core, by the way. Your drone looks like it needs it. Thanks. Useful upgrade. Something is wrong with the compound. I know the science is right. Everything checks out perfectly. At least at a theoretical level. Of late, though, I've been experiencing a heaviness on the chest. And occasionally, when I exert myself, it takes a minute to regain my breath. The scans aren't showing anything yet, but... I'm beginning to wonder if it's due to working directly with these materials. Oh, it almost certainly is, Doc. Bad news about your lungs, and the rest of your body. Uh, don't know if you've taken a look at all the toxic goop lying around, but... The inside of your body probably resembles that from working with the materials for Project Resolve right about now. So we're done with the Resolve Bio Labs, but uh, we're not quite done messing around here yet. There is a smelter bot we need to take care of, as well as some running around that we need to do, because now we have upgraded our drone, uh, which will allow us to open locked security doors. Um, you may have seen a couple so far. In fact, there was one earlier in this very level. Well, two earlier in this level, actually, but I can't remember if I go to the second one or not, because it's kind of out of the way. There's quite a bit of time left in this video, so I'm assuming I do. Let's go fight that smelter bot first. Which, uh, will allow us to go and get this other, uh, security door out of the way while we're here. It's pretty important that we do it, actually. It's really easy to walk by this and not complete this quest. Which is why we're doing it. Because I am nothing if not a completionist. A friendly completionist. Who really likes helping out his buddies. Because in this room, this locked room, is Davy's medicine. Hey, his illegal medicine that he was forced into taking by his employer. Oh well, it's okay. Well, it's not okay, but he's gonna be okay once we get the medicine back to him. And hey, we're heading back to central production, so I mean, once we're there, we can just give it to the guy. Kind of felt it. Let me try that sentence again. Time to fight this smelter bot in the middle of this pile of toxic goop. This fight 
is impossible if you're not using the um, if you're not using the hazard legs. Like, I don't know how you would win this fight without knowing about what the hazard suit legs can do. Like, I I don't know. I really don't know. Like the the hazard suit is almost certainly required for fighting this enemy. This is yet another variant of the smelter bot where now it doesn't have any weak spots open. I mean, it's all like gooped up and like broken down, but uh, none of the weak points are actually open to us right now. So we kind of just have to wait for it to do the gas attack, which kind of sucks. I, I wish they had a weak point that was like harder to hit, but like you could do it without waiting. Cause like smacking them for one damage over and over again is not very fun. So now that we've met Dr. Chavez, uh, we can start to kind of put together a little bit of a timeline with uh, how things went here at Korea. It seems that the timeline, uh, the timeline of events started with Project Resolve, you know, Creo's world-saving initiative to uh, manufacture rockets that dispel the planet's gas uh, and save the ozone layer and all that stuff. Restor restore the ozone layer by disrupting greenhouse gases. Obviously, in uh, practice, it didn't work out that way. Uh, it seems Creo wanted to launch the project a little bit early, which resulted in, you know, Resolve's extreme toxicity continuing to ruin the environment instead of saving it. Which, um, that's a bad thing. So they shelved it. Sort of. You know this stuff is toxic, right? Well, we can't just keep dumping it wherever on the facility. We've had another accident. Well, thank God he's only a cripple. Or uh, is it cheaper for the company if they're killed outright? Listen, if the EHA ever heard of any of these incidents, we'd be closed down faster than one of those rockets goes up. And problems like that meant that the bio labs were no longer really all that useful to people. Like, I mean, now we know why this place is in place? such a state of disrepair. It hasn't been used as an actual facility in quite some time. It seems that when Creo first started their world-saving operation, uh, rockets were manufactured by hand at the assembly plant that we woke up in, which is now used as a junkyard because rocket manufacturing was condensed into a robotic assembly line process. But when Project Resolve got shelved, um, the biolabs fell into the same state of disrepair. But it seems that Dr. Chavez has brought up this uh, Project Utopia, this uh, this Barrett gentleman. So I guess Creo moved on from Project Resolve to bigger and better things, which leads me to wonder why they are continuing to send rockets up. I'm crafting the Scarab gear, by the way, while we talk about this. Who knows? Maybe they're continuing to send rockets up just to save face, or maybe they're doing it because uh, they're obligated to. Or maybe it's all optimated. Or maybe it's all automated, is what I meant to say. <laughs> maybe we'll find out as we move ahead. Good thing about the Scarab gear is that it's only slightly heavier than the Mantis gear. So I already have the already have the proper equipment, uh, the, the proper implants to wear it. But we do have another implant slot available. We just don't have very much to actually put in it right now. You might notice that my inventory is starting to get kind of crowded with a billion different implants that do a billion different things. So, um... Yeah, I believe I spend pretty much the rest of this episode searching through the, uh... Searching through the, the implant list. In, in fact, I'm, I'm looking at the... Uh, I'm looking at the video preview right now on Sony Vegas, and, uh, yeah, it seems like that's the rest of this episode. So, uh, I'm just gonna speed this up, perhaps. My final loadout ended up being focused on increasing my maximum health. Uh, utilizing the set bonus for the Scarab gear, which is pretty much, uh, Hey, you want more max health? Good news. Uh, 
all of your vital boosts are going to be like 25% more effective. So, the Scarab gear is very useful, like I said at the in the last episode, for tanking hits. Even if you get stumbled by every hit, you can take a lot of punishment before you go down. I've decided to upgrade the uh, dual wielding nail guns and the good old, good old Chop Master. Oh man, I love the Chop Master. So uh, those are gonna get, they're gonna get a little bit more action in the next episode. So that's gonna do it for now. Now it's back to Central Production B, so that we can start looking for the Executive Forum and get this show on the road. I'll see you all next time.